Hey guys, welcome to MB Tech Talker. My name is Matt. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically import multiple address objects into a Palo Alto firewall using a tool called Pan CLI. I'm going to be doing all of this using a Windows 10 VM, a VM series Palo Alto next generation firewall, all inside of a VMware workstation. I've been working in the network security space for over 18 years and I couldn't possibly count the amount of times I've had to import a list of IP objects into a firewall due to a firewall migration or a new IT project of some sort. I'm a big fan of automation tools, especially if they can save me time to complete repeatable tasks. So fortunately for us, a gentleman called Irek Romniak, I think I said his surname right, so apologies Irek if I got that wrong, has developed a tool that makes it possible to copy the contents of a CSV file and send it directly to a Palo Alto file or Panorama. So this is super useful when you have a long list of file objects that need adding to the configuration quickly. So if you're a Mac user like me, you'll have no choice but to use Windows. So whether that's a virtual machine, a laptop or PC, it is a small price to pay for the heavy lifting that this software does for you. So that being said, I've already logged into the Windows 10 client. So let's open up a Chrome browser. Uh, I browse to Irex GitHub repository. So what we need to do is click on the green code button and then download the zip. And once it's downloaded, let's go to the folder and I'm going to cut the folder and I'm going to take it to the pan tools folder that I've created, paste it in there, extract the files. And then we're going to go into the, the master folder and I'm going to copy the pancli.exe and then back to pan tools. And then I'm going to pop it into the automation folder along with the spreadsheets um, and the CSV files. So essentially the pancli tool will take the information from the CF CSVs and push it to either the firewall or panorama. Okay, so before we move on, let's take a look at the spreadsheet layout. So let's open up this one, which contains the IP address objects. So this spreadsheet is the spreadsheet that, let's say the project manager has handed me, right? There's 83 uh, IP objects that need imported into the firewall. I'm like, great, I've got to manually add all these in. Um, but this is where this tool comes into play. So what we've got here, is um, all the IP details um, and object names and description, all that stuff is in particular columns. So it has to be this way around. So the first column is the object name. The second column is the type of object. So this is an IP object, so IP address object. The third column is actually the IP address with the slash notation. The fourth column is the description. And then finally, the fifth column is the address group where all of these IP objects will be added into. Okay, so before we can import the data into the firewall, we have to save the spreadsheet into a CSV file. So most of you will know how to do this. So it's just clicking file, save as, um, and then I'm gonna be changing it to CSV. Uh, and then I'm going to browse to a location and I've already got it saved here as, as your underscore IP dot CSV. So once you've saved it, it's then ready to go. And then we can, um, go to the command line and, uh, attempt the import. Okay. So before we actually move on to using the tool, let's just go over to the firewall and let's go to the objects tab. So as you can see, we've got zero objects and no object group. So that's just so that we know there's nothing in the firewall to start with. So next, what we need to do is um, open up a command prompt. And what we're going to do is we're going to test connectivity to the firewall. So that's 192.168.21.21. As you can see, uh, we've got connectivity. Next thing we need to do is uh, change directory to the C drive and the pan tools um, 
automation folder and then issue a dir and then we can see all the files in there if we issue the pan-cli.exe command uh, we can see the usage of that command and the available commands and the flags so let me write out the syntax and then explain to you what each one of these uh, flags does so I'm going to do pancli.exe load minus f and then I'm going to find the CSV file that I want to copy the contents from. Then I do minus u add, oh, I've got to put that in inverted commas. So that's uh, admin um, minus p and super secret password. And then minus D is 192.168.21.20. So before I hit enter, I um, just want to explain to you what's going on here. So the PanCLI is obviously the software. We're going to use the load command, which loads the address object from the CSV file. The minus F, which funny isn't listed in here, um, is to specify the file. So I'm using the Azure IP CSV. The minus U is so that we can specify the login string. The minus P is for the password string. Minus D is the device string, um, which is obviously the management IP of the firewall. So bear in mind there are 83 objects in this CSV file and imagine how long that would take you to manually enter each one of those into a web UI. Uh, just puts chills down my spine even thinking about all that data input in. So now I'm going to hit return and let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so I reckon that took about 20 to 25 seconds. So let's go over to the firewall. Let's uh, go to the addresses and bingo. There we have all the IPs. 83 of them and if we click on address group you can see we've also got an address group with all of those objects in now that was pretty fast so I think this tool is is invaluable um, it does do other things it does have other um, commands in there so if we um, if you went to irex um, repo to his um, GitHub, GitHub site, um, you could have a read through. But what I did notice that you can, um, you can also create shared objects in Panorama, and also you can specify device groups in Panorama. So if, for those of you who know how Panorama works, that is really useful as well. So. I think you can also do this for other types of objects, so uh, fully qualified domain names um, and also ranges. So there is um, there is flexibility with this tool. Um, I definitely will be using this uh, going forward uh, where possible. It's going to save so much time. So that's been a pretty cool demonstration um, and uh, kudos to IREC um, in developing this um, this this pan CLI tool okay so that's it thanks very much okay guys that's it for today's video thanks for watching over the next coming weeks I will be uploading more videos where I will be sharing more content about Palo Alto firewall features and technologies and how to configure them if you like this video I'm sure you know what to do by now but just in case you don't Please hit that like button below and share with your friends and be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. If you have any ideas of video content you want me to create, please put them in the comments below as I would love to hear your feedback on any aspect of my channel. Please keep watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.